Hello everyone! Welcome to this very impromptu birthday stream. Yes, today is May 31st, therefore, it is my birthday today! And I wasn't really certain whether I would be able to stream here for this day. Today has been busy. I've been gone for half of it, and then when I got home I needed to work on tomorrow's YouTube video on my main channel, and, uh, well, I finally finished up, and I may be starting here late, but I really would have regretted letting today go by without doing at least a little birthday stream. So, this right here is Pokin Tournament DX. It is a really freaking cool game. You can tell just by looking at it. It is basically a Pokemon tournament fighter. In fact, the game's title, Pokin, is a pun on Tekken, a fighting game series by the same people who made this game, conveniently enough. So if you enjoy, if you enjoy Tekken, you would enjoy this game, and I'm going to tell you right now, I am probably going to be really out of practice. I haven't played this game since it launched back in 2017 this specific version of the game anyway. Uh, Pokémon Tournament originally released in, in arcades and on the Wii U in 2015 and then got ported to the Switch in 2017 with some extra characters and some DLC, all of which I have. And this game definitely appealed to me. I don't normally play fighting games, but the idea of actually fighting as Pokémon having their full movesets not turn-based, it seemed like a really cool game. And let me tell you, I definitely had a lot of fun with this game. And I got pretty decent at it too. Managed to play through the entirety of the story mode. And let me tell you, the story mode... Sure is something at night, huh? Oh, last time we were there, we all got lost. Uh, the, the story mode gets really difficult towards the end. I barely was able to finish it. Well, the thing about the story mode is it's really long. Like, really long. You got five leagues, and throughout the game, you had to take part in multiple league matches in order to up your rank and as soon as you are able to get to a decent rank then you go to the tournament fight a few trainers elite four style and then after you're done with them you go through the promotion test which is the boss of the league and then you finally get to move on to the next league and it takes quite a while to go through all these. By the time I was done with all these, I was pretty much done with the game. The roster is... Well, the roster definitely isn't small. We got... 21 fighters, I believe? Let's see here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20... Oh no, 23 fighters, including the DLCs. I believe two of them, yeah, these two are the DLC ones. Otherwise, 21 fighters, and you wind up fighting them repeatedly. This is not a small amount, but the amount of times that you repeatedly fight them, it does get a little bit tiring going through the main campaign. That said, since it has been a while, and more importantly, lately I've been playing... Pokemon Legends Arceus, and on occasion I would bring up this game, and I figure, for my birthday stream, for the fun of it, casual stream of this game. There's my character, I'm Erica of course, gotta wear the pink plaid, and I'm so glad this game offers pink plaid, and of course a mask, because raccoon, and paper hat, because why not? Various moods. You can use your Poke Gold in my town to get yourself some avatar items. Daily challenges are 
basically self-explanatory. Not really worth it. You don't really get anything special for doing the challenges. The Ferrum League is the main campaign. Online and wireless. I don't have an online account, so we're not doing any onlines. Not going to play anybody locally. Practice is self-explanatory. And single player is going to be where we're going to be going to. We have the basic battle, which is the one-on-one -on -one battles, like you would s typically see in a fighting game. Or you could go team battle, which is still one versus one, but now you have teams of three, kind of like actual Pokemon battles. Uh, I'm just going to go basic battle as a warm-up. I'm going to play on easy. Best out of three, I say. This'll do. Now I have never played Tekken before. Your Pokemon? Uh, so many Pokemon. My main during the main campaign was Decidueye. This is my favorite Pokemon to play as in this game. Some of these Pokemon play really differently from each other. Uh, some are like says down there in the lower right corner, like Darkrai is a technical Pokemon. Blaziken is standard. Some Pokemon are based on speed. Also, yes, Pikachu Libre. Because why not? I'll just go ahead and start with my main here. And we'll battle a random opponent. And one interesting thing about this game is that you have support fighters. They don't actually fight alongside you technically, but during the battle you'll be charging up a meter and once that meter is filled up you can summon one of your partner pokemon they do a single attack before disappearing and these attacks basically provide either stat boosts boosts or debuffs my favorite setup would be having either krogunk or sylveon krogunk lowers the opponent's defense for a short time and sylveon increases your defense and also heals you a little bit so i'll go with what i normally go with and my opponent i'll just choose random what do you want to do for your cheer, skills? cheer skills what was this again oh yeah this was like after each round i think so this person here is my coach and her pokemon is a weavile and her weavile would cheer you on in between each round and you can choose what the effect of the cheer is my favorite sort of cheer was the support focused which means my support pokemon the gauge would uh be immediately at maximum so i could start out with the support pokemon i wanted i think that's how this worked and we'll go to a random stage all right, spent long enough introducing this game. Let's show off an actual fight. Oh boy, Dark Coliseum. Uh, without spoiling one of your primary antagonists in the story mode, really tough and this is where one of the battles takes place so this game has both 2d and 3d modes right now we're in 2d battles but depending on what attacks you use you could switch to a 3d mode and roam around the battlefield now i'm not super great at fighting games i mainly just like to uh, mash buttons. It gets me by. Helps if I know what some of the buttons are. But as long as you have a general idea. No, I suppose it's not much of a spoiler, actually. Yes, it is Dark Mewtwo. It's not much of a spoiler because, you know, it was showing 
Dark Mewtwo during the opening sequence of the game. Ooh, Synergy Games Max, so at this point I can go into Hyper Mode. For some Pokémon, it's Mega Evolution. In my case, it's just really strong. There's a time limit for it. And when you're ready, uh, you can do a special attack. Which is really cool. Now, you're also charged up, so I'm just going to try to keep away from you if I can help it. And your meter has run out, so you didn't perform your special attack on me. Ah, I didn't really get to show off either of, of, of my support Pokemon. So let's actually do that here. So, nope. You're going to lower my opponent's defense so long as uh, the opponent was close enough to you, which Garchomp wasn't. Oh yeah, there's also the shield. I rarely use it. Typically just kind of go on all in. Oh, time to power up. Yeah, I was actually wanting to bring up my Crow Gunk partner again. I don't know if the online for this game is still alive. I never actually played online. Three stars, not great. Oh yeah, one cool thing about this game is it is a Pokemon game, so you can level up your Pokemon. My Decidueye is at level 100. Uh, levels don't mean as much as they do in the mainline games, but yeah, my Decidueye is a little bit stronger than average. Also, lots of accessory options for your human avatar. You get them randomly, you could get them uh, after getting achievements, that's often I didn't show off. In the main campaign, during each league, if you can push your like the green league, there's missions with different achievements. Can I find out what the achievement was? Yeah. Like, win a total of two battles with the battle Pokemon Lucario, or... Execute a phase shift a total of 80 times. Phase shift being switching between 3D mode and 2D mode. Or vice versa. Uh, let's, um... Let's do team battle now. And still on easy. Like I said, been a long time since I've actually played... Uh, I'll try out very hard later. So, Decidueye is my main, is what I'm used to the most. But let's do all random for both me and my opponent. 
and I don't know what Pokemon I have chosen, so I'm going to choose A as my start. I'm still going to stick with my typical support set and random for my opponent. And let's choose... Ooh, we'll do this. I like Halloween. Also, hello to everybody in the chat. Kiba, Iregor, Comet. And let's see who else. Warrior for life. Thank you for joining here today. Well, it looks like I'm going with Weavile. Oh boy, look at those textures. These are definitely not your cell shaded Pokemon. Shift here we are in 2D mode. Not sure what that attack is. But we can go into hyper mode. It is possible for your super attack to miss. If the Pokemon, if your opponent dodges. Oh, so these are my other two options. So I got Pika Libre and I already forgot what the middle one was. Oh boy. So going against. the sword that I can't remember the name of. Come here, you. You didn't come here. No, you did. So I can't remember if there's any way to change between one of my other Pokemon. Or if my Pokemon has to lose in order to switch. It's certainly an interesting situation here. A fighting game where one of the characters is a sword. And that's not even the weirdest character. Oh, here's this weirdest character. Chandelure. Chandelure is arguably the most OP Pokemon in the game. Anytime I was pit against Chandelure, I had a hard time. Start by healing me up. In fact, I'm gonna, gonna go straight into Hyper Mood, and so are you. Well, in that case, screw you. Ah, uh, I missed my hyper mode. Okay, let's get away. I don't want you using your hyper mode on me. There we go. I seem to be doing pretty good for myself, all things considered, so I'll change the difficulty after this. I say that, but I'm possibly about to lose. There we go. And that took care of all of them. So yeah. I think it's safe for me to go ahead and increase the difficulty for the next triple battle. You can distribute the skill points you received by going to Pokemon settings in my town. 
So I could level them up a few points if I wanted there. I'm not going to worry about that. Use your Pokemon. So let's bump up the difficulty. Uh, one difficulty up at a time so that I know whether I am where I am wanting to be. And from here, let's kind of make our way around a bit. Magic Heart Festival. This is an interesting one. We're on a battlefield where Magic Heart are swimming along the side. No, they're actually swimming around the battlefield. Through the battlefield, in fact. Okay, Pikachu. This is one I haven't used too much. So the real cool thing about this game is it's implied that I am mentally linked with the Pokemon using some special di headset. So even though I'm not necessarily the Pokemon, I am, like, kind of possessing the Pokémon in a way, which is kind of a cool concept. Oh boy. Uh, let's... Ah, oh, that is unfortunate to miss. It's not... Ah, oh. Okay. One down. So, normal seems like a good difficulty to stop at. This is going to be interesting for me, because most of these Pokemon I barely even used. Like this... Nah, didn't happen. Okay, just in case, Sylvie on this time. So now I'm mentally linked with a sword. Kind of fun. He for perfect. Kinda. Yes, this is the game where there is a Pikachu with a Libre outfit. Plays di completely differently than regular Pikachu, so it's not just a reskin. I got caught. So at this point, by the way, it's been a... Oh. You're about to get a perfect on me. No, I actually tapped you at one point. Uh, what was I about to say? Don't know. But I apparently don't make a good sword. Uh, I should have considered healing, but I was in the moment and forgot to pull out my ally will not make that mistake again oh, 
Watch out for those charge attacks. They're like a counter. Oh, no you don't. Heal me, please. I think you provide a heal, right? Ha! Dodge it. Okay. I'm at a disadvantage here. One opponent left. And I'm already low on health. So I'm going to kind of start out with a heal. Uh, occasionally a little thing appears in the battlefield. I was trying to get away from that. Like those little things. They help charge your gauge faster. And I lost. We're gonna stick with normal. There are so many accessories for your avatar. It's kind of funny that I haven't unlocked them all yet. The annoying thing is some of them are locked behind... Oh, there's another achievements page. Some of them are locked behind playing in multiplayer, online and offline. Where is it? My town? Where would it be? Where was it? Battle record... No... Uh, this is where you set your, uh, your main for the main campaign. Oh yeah, amiibo support. I forget what that does and all my amiibo are putting away, are put away right now. Alright, another random three for me. Uh, 